Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help the channel grow. I am just feeling amazing today. So I, I hope that that positive energy ends up in your cards. We've had a couple rough, a rough reading or two so far today. So <laughs> let's hope for a good one for you. Um, Aries, just so you know, if you are looking for a personal reading, hush, hush on the download. I haven't told water or air yet. Only fire and earth is aware of this, but I will be putting out a Galentine's Day code for a big discount on the pre-recorded personal readings. I think it's going to be within a day or two. <laughs> Probably on the 11th. <laughs> Shh. The 11th. Big code. Shh. <laughs> so if you've been wanting a personal reading from me, but the prices are a little bit outside of, of perhaps um, your realm of um, desires, then this may be a good time for you. <laughs> so EmpressMontero.com. Keep an eye out on the 11th. Shh. Shh. <laughs> All right. Let me turn the camera down. And let's see what we've got. Just so you know, that code is only going to be available until Valentine's Day. So on the 15th, it will be gone. So we have the Knight of Coins, the Page of Coins, Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, Four of Coins. The Fool, Six of Swords, and the Six of Coins. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. Oh, you have a really, we have strong introspective energy. Um, Aries. This bear is a symbol for one of you. I'm not sure who, but um, my spirit guides are saying that this bear means something to somebody watching. And um, they wanted me to point out the bear. I don't usually do that, but that's what my spirit guides were saying. So therefore, the bear. Something is important about the bear to somebody watching. So usually when that happens, they're just trying to tell you, hey, pay attention to this reading. There may be something in it that's important for you. Whoa. Act as if your partner is here. Okay. Receive with love and appreciation. And express your love through gifts. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a physical gift. Oh, look at this. Miracles and blessings. That might be important. In fact, that may be important to the person that um, is associated with this bear. So, for whomever the bear is important to, it's important to know. Okay, hold on. I'm having some hand problems <laughs> ever since the dog incident. So <laughs> sorry about that. It's kind of hard to turn the camera up. Um, in fact, should be wearing my brace. <laughs> um, Aries. So first of all, you have act as if your partner is here. So you may be in separation for the, from this person. This won't be for all of you, but this will be for some of you. If you're not in physical separation, you may be um, feeling emotional distance from your partner. It says whenever you have some, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you always, so that you will always consider them. Oh, so that's awesome! It's awesome, awesome. They have received with love and appreciation, but then you also have this giving of gifts. Um, so I feel like maybe somebody's going to be receiving a gift. Somebody's going to be giving a gift. Um, it could be the gift of time. Do you receive the gift of time with appreciation as well? So, your overall energy is that of the hermit. The hermit, the hermit, the hermit. So, the hermit is this introspective energy. Hermit is like trying to figure out what you want to do with your future. What you want to do about a situation. What you need to do about the little tiny things. I see the challenge here is the Six of Swords. The challenge could be that you and this person are at a physical distance. You may be at a physical distance from one another, and it's like, how do we close this gap of distance? How do we fix this gap of distance to be able to resolve um, some sort of struggle? When we have the Hermit, he's always going off in search of his star, search of his wish, search of healing, search of his desire. 
It's interesting that the two of you both have movement on the coins front. So stable movement forward. This is movement forward from you. You know, just taking natural steps, heading towards your person or heading towards the future with your person or making some sort of adjustment with your person. It's, it's constant, consistent effort, right? Your person has the page of coins. If something happened between the two of you in the recent past, they may need to apologize to you or they may be wanting to apologize to you. Um, if that's not the case, if this is a brand new love connection, they could be asking you out on a date. They could be offering you something new, something stable. Um, the Page of Coins is a really, really great energy of starting fresh, right? Starting fresh with regards to communication or the awareness that you're going to be starting fresh. Now, I do see equal effort and giving. We literally have giving, giving, receiving. Giving, giving, receiving. Somebody is going to receive either a gift, communication, time, or effort. Receiving an, the effort being placed into a relationship. If you are already in a long-term committed partnership with this person or married to this person, they are going to put in some sort of effort within the connection. An effort to resolve a struggle that's been going on for quite some time. An effort to bring the two of you closer emotionally. Your person has kind of a fun vibe going on over here, Aries. They have, they have a fool. It's like, all right, let's take this leap of faith. All right, let's, let's close this gap of physical distance. All right, let's see each other. Let's have this date. Let's, you know, move on to the next stage of life together. Um, they look really excited about starting something new with you, Aries. I'm going to take a couple cards on that. Oh my, everything's falling on your side. <laughs> I am not kidding. Literally all five cards fell on top of your side, Aries. You are up in your head. Okay. So they have the sun and the ace of coins. So they definitely have some sort of new movement up ahead with you. They have a new idea. They have a new idea. They have this exciting movement towards you. They're super happy about it. They're ready to put the past behind them and to start fresh with you. They are excited about you. <laughs> They are coming forward with some sort of offer or some sort of efforts. You, however, have the Ten of Swords on the Two of Cups, which is intense overthinking about the emotional distance. You also have the Five of Cups on that, which is feeling like they don't love you. It's like they don't love me. They're not doing this. They're not doing that. Um, it's sort of feeling like all hope is lost. Love is not present. But yet when it comes to you not wanting to be vulnerable, there's this, it's almost like you're trying to reach out, but reach out with the Queen of Swords energy. It's like you reach out because you feel slighted by this person, but really they're coming forward with this really great energy. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, they are literally coming forward with either a gift or an offer of time or an offer of a date or something to help resolve your feelings of loss and, and disconnection. So it looks really positive. Try to go easy on this person because I really feel like they're coming forward with good energy. It looks really, really, really wonderful, okay? So go easy on them, be gentle. <laughs> All right, Aries, love and light to you. Big hug from Ocean Kiss Kiss. Mwah. Be sure to um, like this video and also subscribe to help this channel grow. And I truly appreciate you for it. Thank you so very much. And I'll see you in your next reading. Later.